grab your drinks guys it is time just to put the world away let's get into this world for a bit with my what is this phil forgot where i was for a sec guys philippines experiment where i gave through the editor i gave the philippines the best youth generation and the best facilities on their top teams here in the philippines Let's go. I simulated another year from since the last video. I read all the emails. Sure. Yes, I did. So it's 2045. What is that? 24 years we are in the future. So let's go. Um, I think the Philippines was ranked. I say this every time. They were ranked 34th. I'm going to say, and they've been doing a couple, moving up a couple times each year in the last few years. Um, I'm going to say 30. Why not? Nice, even number. Are we ranked 30th? What do we rank, guys? Quick. 29th under 30. Woohoo! Time for celebrate good times. Come on. Ranked world. Not just in Asia here, but world ranking 29th. The Philippines here in our fantasy world. So let's just take really quick at look at... Hold on. Before I forget. Um... The generation players has not moved. Like I said, in 24 years, it's moved one time down to 199. So I haven't adjusted that hardly at all. So the top six players, real quick, it's still that player from uh, playing there at Liverpool for Edgar Kloos. It's, gee, every time I look at his numbers, <laughs> 28 years old. Uh, we'll we'll look at him in more in depth. Well, we could we could take a look at a little bit of their history. What is what does he do? Oh, he's had almost his best year here in the Premier League, which is the best in the world, aren't they right now? Yeah, they're they're sitting number one. One time they went down there, but you got Bundesliga sitting two, uh, Spanish first division, France there, Uber eats one, Serie A, Portugal, Austria, and the top eight here, the Netherlands. Um, for the best reputation here and uh, uh, that would be that would be just in Europe right which is probably close to the world reputation wise but look at this so one two three four fifth year there in Liverpool and he's to have him arguably one of his best average rating wise I mean he is here so far two player matches doing good Only he's got the 20 what do they look like here? So after 20 played, you got Chelsea. Um, here's quick the past winners here. I know I'm going out of order. I usually do this at the end, but hey, this is where it's driving me right now to show you guys this. Liverpool's won the last couple of years. Man City, Chelsea, Chelsea, Liverpool, Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City, Chelsea, Man City just is dominated here in my fantasy world. So good for uh, Edgar Cluse, the top Filipino. We'll see if he got any awards there in the world. Um, why not? Named, so just a slide, named in the Philippines seasonal best 11. Well, that's probably been every year. Uh, competition wise, European Super Cup winners, Community Shield winners, FA Cup winners. They got with Liverpool all last year and the, the division champions. What personal awards has he got? We just looked at this. Oh, Liverpool, Asian player of the year. Oh, runner up. So shortlisted for the player of the year. Named in Liverpool. Yeah, we saw that. Named in uh, Philippine Seal Best. Yes. Oh, named in Phil or Liverpool Seasonal Best 11. Okay. Uh, transfer. Yep, we saw that. And then the landmarks. Became the most expensive Filipino player at 94. That was, yeah, 2040 when Liverpool bought him. Good stuff. And then we have, oh, the uh, the giant goalkeeper, right? The 6'7 goalkeeper now is the number two player. Playing there in, uh, I always want to say Saudi, but I think it's UAE. No, I'm. <laughs> it's Qatar. 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 Whatever, however you want to say it. I've, I've heard it pronounced a couple of different ways. But he teared, tearing that league up, man. 20, 30 goals he had. Though. Surprise, no European club has picked him up. But yeah, six foot, uh, 29 year old, six foot seven goal, <laughs> goalkeeper. And then, uh. 23 year old youngster here playing for Osberg, an Austrian team. I think that's, is that new, guys? Steven Sobrano? 
Yeah, they picked him up on a free. So yeah, he made one appearance there in the Bundesliga. Good for him. Too bad for Mendiola. They couldn't get any money for him. They just let his contract expire. Um, so 23, he's got, he, he'll, he'll get his potential if he keeps playing there in the Bundesliga. Uh, Michael Morita, oh, a 22 year old. He's playing for, that's the Spanish team. One thing about this game, you guys, you'll, you'll learn all the teams in the world, most of them. And then if not all, I mean, this is football managers got a great database and it, I'm say it's, it's pretty up to speed, right? On all the teams, they have, they have a good team there at, at uh, um, Sports Interactive, right? And, and do a lot of homework on the different teams and the leagues and the and the clubs and all that good stuff. So I'm sure, it's, of course, it's not 100% act accurate, but it's pretty close. So you get to learn what I'm trying to say. A lot of different geography. You'll learn different flags. <laughs> there's, there's, there's things to be learning games, right? Um, so yeah, Real San Sebastian, first division there in Spain. And uh, yeah, he's doing well there. So good for him. He's only, and he's a youngster, 22-year-old. Yep, right back. Great pace, Excel. Uh, and then we got Robert Stanley. Is he another goalkeeper? No, he's a striker. Uh, best Filipino. Am I right? Best, best Filipino striker, defensive midfielder. We've got the, got the goalkeeper, and we got this defensive midfielder, midfielder kind of deal. Best striker, Filipino striker is Robert Stanley. 33 years old. He's getting up there. He's playing still for Montpelier, which he's been there for since 2037. And he's always, oh, he's, he's argu arguably, arguably having the best. He's having the best. Oh, they moved down. That's why they got relegated. So yeah, his average rating will probably be boosted up because lesser competition there. All right. And the last player here, the top six players here in the Philippines is Jake Lozano, 28 year old midfielder, right attacking midfielder, playing there for, whoa, Osnabrück, maybe something. Where's that at? Germany, I should have known, huh? So they actually spent money and they gave Kaya some good money. I mean, again, we're not hurting here in the Philippines. I have gave through the editor the most money you can give to each Filipino uh, top team. But hey, they gave 11 and a half million pounds to Kaya. And he's in the Bundesliga 2. So a better probably reputation than the Philippines. I, I'm reckoning. Uh, where's the general for this? Well, they're 19th reputation in Europe. Where's the stars at? Let's see. She had to be here somewhere. Bundesliga 2. Here it is. Three stars. So, yeah, that's just over what the Philippines is rating, right? Let's see how they moved up. Another two and a half stars. So, there's our top six players. Awesome that they're ranked 29th. Now, let's look at the clubs. Top six clubs, guys. Uh, the last place is Maralika still. Manila. Um, let's go right in here before I forget. Edit the clubs. We look at their fine or their reputation. Thirty-five fifty-seven. Finances still bunch of bunch of bunch of money. Facilities and it's oh this year it's the youth that took one hit notch. Reminder: get that editor man. It's pretty awesome if you want to create your own leagues. Let's look at all the players and what youths. Huh? What youths have come through your system here, Marlika Manila? So let's go to the age. All these youth players, guys, that are in youth contracts have come through. Is anybody over 100? There's nobody that potential over 100. There's a 97 top player, 94, 92, but no youngsters. And it's it's been hard for Maralika. Their top player currently is this Filipino now. We'll go, um, man, I think this guy's wanted to leave last time. He's still, he's asking to leave, but they still haven't found a buyer for this, uh, this Muhammad Ali from Qatar. But their best player here at Maralika, and he's asking to leave too, is a 94 uh, current rating as Manuel Mosel. Um, 24 year old, the yeah, attacking right midfielder. Man, they really don't. There's a couple, right? That had a big potential here, if I remember right. 140. 
that's him that we just looked at. They're hurting. Do they have guys injured or something? What is this? Player ineligible, not filtered. That's it. They're, yeah, they're hurting for players. Maybe they've lost some players in their transfer window and stuff, their history. Oops, transfers. Some outs. They lost some, maybe some big, no? Huh. All right, they're just, they're hurting for good quality players here. Um, yeah, I mean, they got a couple. There's one player here, 18-year-old striker, has got 100 potential, and a 23-year-old defender. But uh, I'll, that's all I can do is just boost up their, and it's already maxed out, their facility. So let's go. Wish you guys the best. If, if, you, if you're not, you're going to maintain there in the bottom of the Philippines. Um, one and a half star. It did take a little bit of uh, in, improvement uh, since last year. But let's go. Let's move on to Stallion. Stallion. I like that logo. Uh, Thirty six fifty eight. Finances is still a bunch of bunch of monies. Twenty youth facilities. Let's go, huh? Stallions. What players? I like doing all players. Sometimes you don't get the youth guys in there. They're up in the, they're not in the senior squad or something. Um, was he last year? Because I see this 148. Did, I, Nakazato, did, did he come through last year, guys? No, he's come through a couple now. Huh. He's, he's not on the youth. <clears throat> I think he came through last year's. If that's the case, there's no one that's, uh, no one of the youths. At, or even over a hundred, they got a couple guys, right? Who, who's their best guy currently, number wise here? Wait, is that it? Hundred and five guy, and he's not even he's Malawian. The best Filipino, ninety two, is Jan, twenty six year old, Bracamonte. Yeah, he's good. Two caps for the Philippines, and their best potential player. Yeah, is that that's right. The 188. They got this guy. He's not complaining yet. He's 22. He's at 91. Um, that Jefferson Wenceslao. He's that playmaker. Has he been playing? Has he been last year? Okay, he's getting some more games. It's, uh, does he have any? He's capped at the under 23, so that's good. Yeah, he's 23. He really needs to get get going there. Um, I mean, cause that's awesome. That potential. I'd love to see when the Philippines here, our, our youth fantasy world guy, get up to 188. Be great. Uh, and they got this player, that Jose guy, 17 year old, came really good, 148. And then you got this 30 year old. They're not going to develop much more. And they got this player. He's listed. Robert Batico. Batogo. 24-year-old. All right. I like looking at the numbers, man. Looking at all these numbers. Can't jump. He's got some good physicals, though. Stamina and Excel. Not bad, but... That's it. ADT. Let's move up. Now we got... Oh, the Stallion was two stars, so they're... They've went up a little bit too. Uh, the Asgol's development team. Uh, 3902 is their reputation. Uh, yep, so all the youth facilities took one hit knock. And let's go. What players, huh? Asgol's development team. What Filipino? What new youth? New Filipinos are hitting this, this game of football. Um, what am I doing? I'm on that. I'm on that. I'm already on that screen. No, no one. This Richard Gaientes, he's the one that came through last year. He's got that 143, but no youth this year. A 99. Their current best player. Oh, they got a connection here to Mali, huh? Uruguay, their best player, 110, is this Vincent, 29-year-old. I, th I think that went down, because I remember that stamina being 18 for this player. So he's 29. Things are going slightly down for him. Let's see. Or maybe he got hurt. But man, that's that's it. 
he's at 20 look at that a bunch of their best players are all foreigners then you got this roberto benedicto he's asking to leave wants initially agreed playing time so yeah 70 97 he's 137 potential who's got the best potential here for philippines it's, yeah it's just that guy here uh richard guy that's that defender from last year he is wanted who's he wanted by kaya so within the philippines richard Gaientis. violin got that heading look at that teamwork and heading for 17 year old good deal hopefully he can get up there to 143 all right, Asgals, let's go. So nobody, right? Right? Nobody's got over 100 their, their youth intakes for the year um, from this last year. I'm not sure what their youth intake is. I mean, it's, I mean, it's probably, I mean, let's look at the schedule here. It's usually toward, toward the ends of the year, like maybe July, June, or July. I'll have to look that up. But let's look at, what was it? United City. United City. United, 4236 reputation. Bunch of monies here. And I'm going to do that. And let's see all the players here. What youths, huh? What youths have you brought in? Anybody? He's on a youth contract. 17 usually. Oh. Was this guy last year? When think I think he was, huh? Man, why am I forgetting? Yeah. Oh, they he was with Global. Okay, and then they picked him up. So Global's not even one of the top six teams. So that's cool to see some other some other teams uh, produce some youngsters. But yeah, this guy. I hate this when it doesn't stay on there. A one fifty eight. He's eighty four current ability but paul beasley striker look at that yeah concentration lets him down a bit but 13 finishing 13 composure technique good teamwork good work rate natural fitness isn't hot it's just they're not match fit a lot they get tired easy and it's usually a short career with that natural fitness but yeah pretty awesome for 17 so hopefully, and they did have one. They had one youth guy this year. What's this guy? They already signed him to a regular contract. He's not on a youth contract. 17, a uh, 100 potential. Valera, Valere Martins, right attacking midfielder. Good technique and determined already. He had some flair and off the ball. So yeah, wish him the best. Who's their best current ability guy here? United City. Filipino is this Gerald, Gerald, Gerald Brigoli. Still. And then Casper. I remember when Casper came in. Casper the Friendly Ghost. The defender. Yeah, he's at 111. So yeah, he's a, he's a good def, good defender. At 5'8". Oh, the three heading. Yeah, he's probably playing defensive midfielder. Uh, potential wise, who's their best player? Is this goalkeeper 162? Is that 25 already though? That's that Jason Murrows. And I don't see it. I, that's that's a 93. I guess it's current value 93 with the seven command. And I mean the reflex is good, but in the handling, I guess that really weighs the uh, the current ability. But I like the good communications and command of area. Uh, next vote is this, uh, Philippines, not down till here is at 135. He's at 98. It's only 21. So this is their best, best, one of the best Filipino strikers. And he's, he's loan listed, huh? This guy's asking to leave, but yeah. Uh, Amani Leonora. Yeah. Good quality player here at 21. All right. United City. Let's go to Mendiola. 4305. Finance is looking good. Down here. Um, let's look. Huh? This is only one player so far we've had that's been over uh, 
a hundred that's come through the this year's youth recruitment or since the last time no one no one over a hundred 98 95 who's their best current ability player philippine wise a 128 this juan soriano it's a left back either footed defender here and then the next best the 31 year old is alvin and that's it a lot of foreigners potential wise there's that alvin guy he's not gonna he's 31 so it's probably maxed out nowhere getting so 40 points off his potential there but at 159 here is 18 year old he's loan listed justin rnl midfielder yep looks good and then who's the other youngster 17 year old 136 potentials paulo yeah he came through last year that's right paulo salvacio there you go all right last one so there's only been one player this year that's the way it works sometimes right sometimes you'll get some Good youth intake season. 5109 is the rep. Bunch of money. And let's go. 20s. Everyone's got the 20s now. What players? Come on, Kai. I know you guys produce good Filipinos come through your guys' youth system here. All the 16 year olds. Uh, there's a couple there. This goalkeeper was last year. Jamie Robles. If not, he's 113. And then you got, so this is the best guy here, 116. So not the best. There's only what? If I can count three, four ish. And they're just over potential wise, just over 100. But let's look at this 111 player. They're both currently 51. Um, 111, just Jovan. Wow, this is a different name. Jo Giovanni? Giovanni? Giovanni Simpron as a left midfielder. Got some pace, but that's about it. Can't pass very good. Uh, he's only 16. Ooh, he better start hustling there on his development. He's got a long ways to go. And then Jerome Porteria. Porteria. Yeah, striker. Oh, yeah, look at that. He knows how to finish. 14, got some good technique. Flair determined, composure, bravery. He's got some decent Excel for a 16-year-old. Yes, I wish him the best. Who's their current ability, guys? Best player here at Kaya. I know they got a bunch. Uh, but Philippine-wise, look at all Look at all these. See how I, so I say you'll get used to the flags? So you'll get good at geography playing this game. So you're like, what the heck is that? Oh, it's Burkina Faso. Where are they playing? Okay, they're they're in Africa. You can see the, the uh, population like I said, you'll you'll learn not only players and where the clubs are, you'll learn um, some geography with, and, and flags. But their best current ability, Filipino. My goodness, what the twenty-year-old here, ninety-two, really? Man, Christian Robles, a one-sixty potential. Christian Robles, he's he's their main, he's the big hopes on him. Potential wise, though, or or, or or is that what I was on? Wait, oh, it's about the same. Potential wise, yeah. Okay, here we go. Potential. I don't know why I wasn't clicking or I was blind. So they got the Christian Robles, got the 160, then the 159 for this Alvin Lowe, 21 year old. Yeah, he's got some good mentals already. It's a good passing technique, first touch. Yeah, Alvin Lowe, he's loan listed. And then that's <laughs> that's it. Striker here, 116. That's the new guy that just came in. So, all right. But they're, they're, trick, they're trickling in. That's the word, I guess, you can do. They're trickling in here. Um, let's take a look at the national teams. Under 19s, right? Uh, I'll, I'll adjust it here by the potential. 
uh, potential. There we go, the top player here. See, are they all based here in the Philippines, Australia? That's that Lopez player. No, that's another Giovanni guy, right? He came through. Yeah, he started there in Australia. So he actually played. Hey, he actually made a sub appearance. But he's an, he's capped here in the under 19. So that's 16 finishing. He's 19, though. So he's got to hustle because he's got a potential of 127. So that's cool. There's a free guy, goalkeeper. No club. And that's it. They're all based in the Philippines. What have, what have the under 19 squad done? They've been doing pretty good, right? They won last time, right? No, that's right. They lost. Did, or did we see this? January. Oh, that was in October. No, we didn't see that yet. Yeah, because that was just a couple months. October, November, December, January. Yeah, just less than three months ago. So they lost. Oh, man, they lost to the the Asian under 19s champions final to Australia. One to two. Who scored here? Joseph Matabellano. Something like that. <laughs> oh, man. They lost the finals. But that's awesome. Let's see who won it in the history. There's winners. Oh, so they got knocked off. The other 19s uh, championship. The Philippines won one, two, three, four times. So Australia battled them this year. And they got it. Oh, they were the hosts as well. Where's the Philippines? Come on, we gotta host some games. They have not hosted at all. Oh, there it is. Way back in 1970. What's going on? We can't we host there? That'd be cool. They can host some of the games. I and mean, we've been dominating here the last few years. Oh, right here too. So they've won it 20, 30, 36, 30, 38 every two years, 40, 42, and they lost Australia. But Congratulations, huh? They made it that they made it to finals. They're, they're a steady, they're a powerhouse team there. The under 19, that's awesome. Let's go to the under 20s. Let's look at the team, which they got a short team because they don't play very many games. Uh, they're all based in the Philippines. Yeah, and there's no, there hasn't been any games for, oh. I'm clicking, clicking. Okay, let's get to the. That the, that's the twenties. Oh my goodness, guys. That was 20. Okay, they've played a few. What am I talking about here? So they've had the, they lost. That was 2043. We, we've seen that. Yeah, we saw that last time. They lost to England, the, th the third place. And then they haven't had anything since. So, okay. The under 21s? Anybody? Anyone? No? No one, nobody's there because they haven't had any games. Nope. All right, under 23, that's a big, that's a big squad. Good squad based all here, potential wise. Uh, Jefferson hasn't moved up to the senior squad yet. Uh, he's close, I bet, that 188, but they're all based in the Philippines. I can see, yep. Okay, what, what have you guys done, huh? Under 23s, what have you guys done? bunch of friendlies and they're in this under 23 Asian Cup Group A January 6th due to start oh not till next year 2046 yeah less than a year away we scheduled okay this is played every two years past winners Philippines haven't even been anywhere in there under 20 oh yeah excuse me 38 they got third place and then 26, they got third place. So that's the best they've done that my eyes can see. Yep. All right. All right. So, you know, they're doing good. They're doing good. Now let's get to the national team. The Asgulls team. Current ability. I put potential. Potential wise. The best player. Steven Sobrano. Defensive midfielder. Let's put yeah potential here. He's the German player. German, we all know. Uh, those two German 
players and they must not have all the players in here call them up they must not have a game because there's a they're not all all their players not in there all the top players aren't aren't in here right now so they haven't they haven't done a registration in a while but let's look what's going on yeah they don't have a world cup not till march so they haven't called their players up but what's happened since the last time i've seen you guys uh, they're in the World Cup second. Look at all the green dots, though. Awesome. So group B, group, group B here. World Cup, World Group B, Group B. So they... Okay, five played. And then they, there's... Yeah, so they're still trying to qualify here. But they're sitting pretty. They're sitting pretty. They haven't lost yet. Okay. They have not lost that. They haven't played Japan or South Korea, have they? They beat South Korea 4-0. Whoa! That's the big teams. Well, we're one of the big teams now, huh? And then they've had this, the C Championship group. And again, but they did beat it. Okay. That's the Philippines bogey team. Is this Thailand? They lost away, but we won at home on penalties. <laughs> Man, it took all the energy we had to beat Thailand. Um, so we won the C Championship Finals. Whoa, penalty over Thailand. Let's look at the past winners. So that... Wait. Has it registered? When, when was the match? Why hasn't it registered? Because we finally dethroned them, if I'm reading this right, right? When was this played? Wait. Oh, no, wait. They won on pit. What? Why is it green dotted here? Okay, they lost two to. We won on penalties. How, how is it? We, we, we lost. Am I reading this? What is going on here? Away at Thailand. Two to one. First leg. So we're down by one. And then we won. And then on penalties. We won it, but we lost on penalties. I can just look here. Hello. He missed his and they didn't miss any. So I, I was reading that wrong. I just see the green dot and, and automatically think it's good. We won the match. It, it shouldn't do that. It should. We lost on penalty. So that should be a red. Don't confuse me game. Right? Because penalty shot. Unfortunately, this Roberto Benedicto missed for the Philippines. And they made they made all there. One, two, three. They made all their five. Oh, so Thailand is still our pokey team. Oh my goodness, we cannot beat them. And and if you look at the past winners, we have not beat them in the C Championship. And look how many times it's Thailand and the Philippines. Myanmar sneaked in there one time with the runner up, but and then the beginning of the save here was Indonesia. The runner, but it's been Thailand and Philippines. Oh, they lost some penalties. <laughs> Uh, all right, national team. I hope I showed you guys everything you guys wanted to see. Uh, I like looking at the world rankings really quick here. England, number one. France, Germany, Spain, Argentina, Brazil, Italy, Portugal, Belgium, and Mexico is the top 10. We'll scroll down here because I can't believe it. Where are we at? They're at 29, 29th. Oh, we actually were up 20 at 28. We went down one. Let's look at this world rankings. What was the highest we ever were? We were. We were 28th at one point. So we're down to 29th. But look at the stairway here. Stairway to heaven. It just keeps going up. Awesome again. Thank you guys for joining me. Um 29th with as the competition moved up we're maintaining here at number 10 best competition in asia so we'll see and we'll, oh who won hello who won last year kaya again by a good nine points so can anybody beat out kaya huh i just don't i don't see it Cool, second, third, fourth. Second and third are tight matches. And then Maralika, they need some help. Did all I can.
All right, guys, thank you for watching. Awesome here that Philippines keep moving up. 29th, where will they be next time we see them? Which will be in a year time, which because I'm going to holiday it, sit on the beach, and have a drink while the year goes by. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Remember, keep moving forward.